Welcome to Flashpoint Fridays. I'm Michael and we're going to go over how to run a Procedure A D93 method test on the Stanhope Cita Penske Martin. Like any test on the Stanhope Cita Penske Martin, we're going to work from the top of the screen down in order to get all our information in to run the test. First box is operator. Here you can either type in a name or you can select from one of 30 pre-populated names that you can put in. We already have LSI put in, so we'll select that. Next, we'll select sample ID. Again, you have up to 30 pre-populated ones that you can select from or type in one yourself. Today, we'll be running end decane, so we'll select the end decane. At this point, we'll skip over test profile and we'll head to test method. We will select a D93A method uh, for wire and we will run this one in Celsius. So we'll select D93A wire C. At this point, we'll put in the expected flash point for this test or for your sample. Uh, your sample needs to be at least 26 degrees below the expected flash point for it to start. Type that in, press OK. At this point, we'll take our sample cup, which we filled up with 75 mils of sample. We'll put it into the instrument. Close the lid. And press go. At this point, the instrument will stabilize the temperature and will do what's called a safety dip before it starts heating. You'll see the igniter, because we're using a wire igniter, heat up and do a dip here. Once the safety dip is complete, the instrument will now start heating and stirring. Once it gets in range, it'll start dipping every degree C until it hits its flash point or it runs to its end of test. Now that we're approaching 20 degrees below our expected flash point, we will start dipping every one degree C. You can see now the igniter is heating up in preparation for the first heated dip. We've dipped and now we will do this every degree C until we hit the flash point. I'd like to point out a couple different things you can see here on the screen. We have our expected flash point listed. Above it, we have our sample temperature. And on the side, we have a dip button, a plus five degrees button, and a stop button, along with a number button. The stop button obviously will stop your test at any point. If you realized you've done something terribly wrong or you have it mislabeled, you can stop the test. The button above it, the one, two, three button, takes you off the screen with the graph and the small numbers and just brings you to a screen with a large set of numbers. So you can easily see the sample temperature from across the room. We have a graph being populated as the sample temperature increases and time goes along. It'll be graphed here on your right, my left. Above that we have the EXP plus five. If your sample turns out to be higher than you expected it to be, flash point, you can press that button and it'll increase the dipping range another five degrees. Now this is helpful, but it is no longer within spec for the D93 procedure A, and you would need to run the test again with a corrected flash point. Also above that is a dip button which allows you to override it and manually dip the instrument. Again, not within method, but a great feature to have. The instrument will continue to dip here until we hit our flash point which point the instrument will stop heating and dipping and start cooling down. All right, now that we're approaching the most exciting part of the test and getting near a flash point, we'll cut back in and take a look. We're now only a few degrees away from our expected flash point. The instrument will automatically detect the flash point when it flashes and will stop heating and start cooling down along with giving us our final measurement screen. All right, we've hit our flash point and you'll hear the instrument. It makes a very distinctive sound which is selectable from one of six different sounds. We have our corrected flash point on the bottom along with our current sample temp. As you can see our corrected flash point was 52.0 degrees, which is within range of 
the uh, procedure A for decane, which would be 53.8 plus or minus 2.6. At this point, the test is done and the instrument will start cooling down. Once the instrument is cooled down, this fan, the cooling fan will turn off and you're ready to go. At any point, we can press next to get back to our main menu. And you can now lift the pot up, remove and properly dispose of your sample in accordance with your laboratory procedure, and you're ready for your next test. Thanks for joining us today on another exciting Flashpoint Friday. Tune in next week where we'll be doing something even more exciting with a Penske Martin or another stand-up CETA Flashpoint Analyzer. Make sure to visit our website at www.lazarsci.com. See? Two takes. Nailed it.